<laughs> oh, hi there. I'm Eric. This is Connie, my beautiful wife, and we just got done playing Disney Villainous at our house because we are under quarantine at the moment. Not we're really. Not under quarantine. Not officially under quarantine, but we're being responsible. Social so, distancing. Social which we're distancing. We're not doing right now. <laughs> social distancing. Yeah, but then I'm not like really in the frame. So join us. It's all right. You're probably already infected. Probably. For Disney villainous. How very villainous of you. <laughs> So Connie, I'm going to need you to listen to me describe Disney Villainous for everybody out there that's going to watch this video. All 100,000 of you. I so enjoy listening to you explain everything. Yeah, it should be, uh, should be pretty normal for you. Um, so Disney Villainous is an asymmetric card game where you take on the role of a Disney villain and you are trying to achieve a particular objective and whoever achieves their objective first wins. So to give you kind of a quick overview of how that works over the course of the game is at the beginning everybody gets their own deck of cards or technically two little decks of cards. You've got your, uh, your player deck and then you've got this little fate deck but it's unique to your character. The player deck is just full of all the cards that you're going to use over the course of the game. You know, you've got allies, you've got items, you've got these sort of like instant condition cards, that kind of stuff. And then the fate deck is full of all of the... Heroes. And yeah. Yeah, all the heroes and items and, you know, recognizable things that you s saw in the related Disney movie to your villain. You also get this neat little pamphlet. Every, uh, every villain gets one. And it's really good for like first time players. It's Wait. a way to tell That's you Jafar? what your goals are. That's Jafar. Why do I oh, have Jafar? Oh, I gave you the wrong one. My bad. It's <laughs> um, really going to trip her up. How very villainous of me. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, you get this little book that helps you understand what your objective are, your objective is, and how you are going to achieve it. It gives you some kind of tips on what cards you're looking for in your deck to be able to achieve victory. Um, your turn consists of moving your villain mover onto another space on your board that you aren't currently at. So you can't do the same space multiple times. You kind of have to bounce back and forth. Each space has four different symbols on it, and the symbols are uh, the different actions that you get to take. And you get to take all those actions in any order that you like. You can gain power, which is the currency of the game. The space will just have a number on it. There is uh, the fate symbol, which lets you put fate cards on another player's player mat. There is play a card, there's discard cards, and, uh, there's, and there's the ability to kind of move your cards around. Because normally once you, once you kind of commit a card to a space, it's there unless you've got an action that helps you move it somewhere else. So there's, you know, when... Something good for certain characters. Yes. And... Then at the end of your turn, you draw back up to four cards, and then the next player goes, and you just keep doing that. I believe in a, like, when I read through the rule book, there is, a, in four or five players, there's a fate token that you use that uh, makes it so people can't be targeted by multiple players in, like, subsequent order. So that way somebody can't get screwed out of actions or anything. It's the picked on. Like, you get picked on. Exactly. The villains being the villain. Yeah, it keeps them from being too villainous. <laughs> also, you put your fate card of your, like, your other players on yeah. theirs, like, to cover up the actions. Yeah, yeah, no, that, that's actually the important part of why you would play the fate cards, is that these fate cards, you know, I said that there are four actions on the spaces. When the fate cards come out, they actually cover up two of those actions. So now, all of a sudden, if I go to that space, there's only two actions available to me. And you just keep taking turns around the table until somebody achieves their objective and they win the game. They have thwarted the heroes of their realm. Which is and, weird. Uh, You'd think like, the villains would just team up. Yeah, but they're villains. This is true. They're un un incapable <laughs> of teaming up. Otherwise, they would have won. If you're out there, Disney villains, take note. Um, so, Connie, what would you say was your favorite thing? about Disney villainous. I like the figures. 
I really like the figures. They're so abstract, but well made. Like this is Captain Hook, but I mean, it's not a little person. It's, I think it's just his cape and his hat. Yeah. But it's well designed. Kind of the artistic twist on these. The I don't Queen know of about Arts Prince is, John's over there. I like that. Yeah, he's the crown. <laughs> but yeah, Maleficent. I mean, some of them are pretty obvious as to what they are. Yeah, I, I agree. The components are nice. You know, these, these little foldy boards and the card art is good. I little, mean, everything's yeah. well made. Yep. So if I had to pick something that I liked about the game, I would say I really like the asymmetricness of it. And I believe there's two Can expansions available that? right now. Sure. Um, so the fact that every villain is unique in the deck that they get, the fate cards that they get, um, the objectives that they've got. I mean, there are some that have similar objectives because the first time we played this, we did Jafar versus Ursula, and they've both got similar objectives where they're digging for very particular cards in their deck to win. Yeah. Um, but they've got different ways to achieve them. So that's the thing is that, you know, the how Jafar achieves that objective is a little different than how Ursula is. And they all play differently. And we've played four of them now, so we've seen a little bit of it. And like I said, there's I believe there's two expansions for it right now that have even more villains. So, you know, if you really like this game and you want to mix it up even more. Become um, more villainous. Yeah, become more <laughs> villainous. You know, if you've got a favorite Disney villain, you know, some... Some, and it, I do believe that they're actually pretty good about even mixing in some of the more obscure ones because I think the, the one that I saw that had Scar in it has Radigan. So, they have Scar? Yeah, they got Scar in one and of Radigan? them. And Radigan? And Radigan. Ooh. Yeah. But yeah, so I mean, that's I, I like the fact that it's asymmetric and every time you play, or every villain that you play is going to be a little bit different. And even just the matchups that you do are going to be different and how you have to thwart the other person. Yeah. So, Connie, now that we've gotten it out of the way as to what we like about Disney Villainous, what would you say you disliked about Disney Villainous? Uh, I felt like I was mostly just playing by myself. Like, I know I was supposed to be throwing cards your way to slow you down, but it, I don't know, I almost forgot you were there because I'm trying to achieve this goal. And like our last playthrough, I, I got swamped because... I wasn't paying attention to you at all. I was just trying to go through my cards. And I don't know if that's a downfall on my part or just maybe this isn't the game for me. No, that's, that's fair. And that's multiplayer solitaire. And yes. I, I got that same feeling. Um, and that second game, I, don't, I, I mean, I, I won by a landslide, but I don't think it counts. I was playing Queen of Hearts, and I literally I won on turn six because it was... Um, I got the, the, the card guard. I was able to put a card guard out on all four spaces and turn them all into wickets. And she even tried doing the fate actions against me and like the, the two fate actions she managed anything. to do. Yeah. It was two of the um, like the buffs for fate. So like there's so already heroes out. So exactly, she can't even play them. So that, that, that kind of sucked. Yeah. And I would say that uh, kind of going off of that, that that would, that would be something that I, I disliked about this game. And I mean, and it is a card game, so it's to be expected. I'm not a huge fan of card games because I <laughs> want games that tell a narrative. It's like but... when I played Ursula. The last card, I mean, the card I needed to win, and I was this close, was all the way on the bottom. Oh, yeah. I mean, that, that, that game was... <laughs> I, I almost didn't want to play it a second time, but I wanted to give it a fair shake because we played that very first round, and it was Jafar versus Ursula, and it took us two, two hours. Yeah, two hours. Yeah, two hours to play because both of us, but are, see, the cards we needed were on the bottom. You did win. I won, so therefore I had to like it and give it a second <laughs> shot. <laughs> that's fair. Because if and, I win, that's, like, that's just the reason that everything's awesome. Yeah, and I, I agree with you on the multiplayer solitaire thing. They were definitely, especially in that Jafar versus Ursula game, where I was just, I was bored. You know, I was literally just villain mover. Cool. I'm gonna gra grab some power, I, was I guess. Bored watching you. I'm gonna do that. I am pretty boring. <laughs> Patrick can attest for that. Lloyd can attest for that. I'm a pretty boring guy. But I mean, not your wife, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you you already told all them out there that you think I'm boring, so that was kind of a given. So that is Disney villainous. This is Connie. I am Eric. We are Just Got Played. Join us sometime at the Cloak and Blaster. 
when we're actually at the Cloak and Blaster playing. And you know, um, not, on Tuesdays. Not during the virus. Yeah. Stay home right now. Yeah, stay home. Social distancing is very important. Unless you're a villain. Are you? Ooh, that's a good idea. Thank you. No, that's horrible. <laughs> do, do not. Do not go outside and, and lick doorknobs and sneeze on people.